Okay, here's something that everyone always wants to know. How do you add cool objects into Pivot? How, where do you get these things? Well, I found a bunch of them. So if you're in my class, you have the added benefit of being able to access these uh, right here on the H drive. So what you're going to do, and for those of you playing along at home, I found them at droids.org, D-R-O-I-D-Z dot O-R-G, and there are thousands of them. But for my class, we're going to use right here. So you go into the Digicom dollar sign folder. It's on your desktop. There's a shortcut. You're going to click on that. It might not be here. It's probably somewhere else on your desktop. It's going to open up your uh, folder. Now, this is the folder where you find them. It's called STKs or sticks. And I have them organized. Now, you're not going to be able to see anything. You're going to see names, but you're not going to be able to see what they look like. So to see what they look like, we're going to go into pivot and you're going to go to file, load, figure type or control F if you want to do the shortcut. Okay. And then you're going to go to desktop and you're going to go to the Digicom dollar sign. Now, if it doesn't look like this, change your view to list. Okay. And you're going to go to the Digicom dollar sign. And then if it's not in list mode, again, go to list and you should see STKs here at the bottom of the list. Open it up and you have all these folders. The first one we're going to use is objects. We're going to go to the objects folder and we're just going to load box. Now, if you click once on these, if you actually, I'm using the arrow keys now, I can look at all the different objects and there's lots of cool stuff. So, but, but for right now, we're all just going to use box. Okay. And I'm going to stick the box into program and now it puts it right in the middle so there it is and to switch between them I can use my roller on my mouse and that switches you can see that the the focus changes and now I'm controlling this and I can also use the arrow keys to move it tiny little bits at a time um, and I can hold uh, anyway that puts a box in then we can do a cool animation with the box falling into the screen now I'm gonna make my screen a little bigger so I can see more blank space at the top of my screen, okay? I'm gonna change that up. I'm gonna have the box fall in. Um, actually, we'll probably save this for another, another thing, but that's how you add figures into Pivot, how you add STKs.